what is something you would tell your students that you can also apply to yourself? And then I guess a two-part question is, what did, ha, did you have to learn outside of school that school didn't teach you when it came to your career? Um, so the first first part, um, I don't ever really teach them to be uh, softer mm. about themselves, but it's I do um, the things that I teach them. I always like because I, I, there's a saying and like uh, uh, technology. He might he might have heard this one as well, where like those who um, those those who can do but those who can't teach and like and I hate that saying because it's like because as a teacher like I don't want to be I don't want to be in that sort of category right like I I obviously love teaching it's a great profession but I don't want to be like known as someone who can't can't do it Mm. so um for me like I everything that I teach my trainees my students but I have to prove that I can do myself or, or, I, or I do the project. When I set the project, I do it with them to show them one, how to do it, but um, also like that it can be done and you can make money from it and you can have a career. Um, the, what is this, the second question? What is something you had to learn yourself about in regards to your career or even making music that you couldn't learn at school? Yeah, so the school doesn't teach you, um, like especially in the UK, um, it might be different now, but when I was at school, we learned nothing about like personal finance, accounting, um, and just like running, run, you know, running a business. It was, um, I think it's very much like set up to sort of get you ready for, to be in a workforce, um, which, you know, which is fine, like for the, for the majority, but it doesn't, it never taught me how to like manage money and, and do, and work out taxes and, um, and how how to make money and how to keep money, how to save money, and where you should be putting um, putting this money. And so, like, I'm catching up with all that now. And I think having a business and teaching uh, students to like to have a business, like a beat beat selling business or or an audio services type business, um, like, I think that yeah, I think that's that's ultimately like what I'm trying to do with them, you know. Mm, yeah guys you gotta you gotta be able to take care of your business i know like with you guys we're able to do a lot of the registering and the admin um Mm. for you but that doesn't necessarily mean we're in your books you know so make sure you guys are uh low wave production 50 50 that is sign money for tax like right make sure make sure that your your money is in order because if not what is the point of you having a whole online business if you're not set up um John Savage, can you speak to anything that you think people should should know or um, learn? Like, uh, uh, like for you think like legal stuff or business stuff. Any anything that you think is important, maybe something they need to know about um, having their own business or something um, that they can know about, like even creating maybe as it pertains to businesses or or anything legal whatever you feel like sharing well i think uh for business you always have to like yeah like do your taxes that's like important don't hide that stuff don't be scared of that stuff like as professionals that wise they will always help like Oh yeah, that's a, I would suggest that. As far as selling beats, like perfect your craft, work as hard as you can, remain like uh, like keep your life uh, in harmony. I would not say balance, like in harmony. You have to do the stuff that you like, and uh, yeah, just experiment with your beats, with your sounds, and uh, just keep going. 